Hey, what's happening YouTube? Steve with Rake and Profit at rakeandprofit.com Coming back to you with another video. Today's video I'm going to show you what I found on a Saturday morning going to garage sales for about one hour. It was raining today in Connecticut so um, there wasn't many people out and there wasn't a lot of yard sales to go to but went out for about an hour, hit about three or four different yard sales and I want to show you what I found. I think I made about maybe $150 worth of profit when all said and done so I want to show you what I found so you guys can go out there and do the same. Let's talk first about some baseball gloves. I've been talking a lot about these guys and there really is a lot of profit to be made. When it comes to baseball gloves, my favorite thing to buy is catcher's mitts. These things seem to sell the best and for the for the most profit. Right here we've got a Wilson. This is a vintage Wilson. Uh, pretty beat up, not the best condition. Paid a dollar for that. That's probably going to go between 25 and 50 And then we have a Rawlings right here. Really nice leather. Excellent condition. This should go for about 40 and then over here we have a first baseman's glove, uh, left-handed thrower, all leather, nice laces, paid, I think I paid $4 for that one and that should go for about $40. So those are the gloves, keep your eyes out for the baseball gloves, a lot of money to be made. Next item I found, I bundled uh, this with a few more items but ended up getting it for a dollar. Seven in one poker, mega screen, brand new in packaging. Any of these po poker games or the Yahtzee games or anything that's brand new in the packaging, usually go for some good cash. Uh, ended up getting it for a dollar. I bundled this with a few other things and this is going for about $15 to $22. Next item is a vintage Polaroid. This is a one step close up. Paid a dollar for this, got this uh, in, a, in a bundle deal with the poker and a pencil sharpener over there. And this is going for about $15 I think, maybe a little more, a little less. Uh, you know, you pay a dollar and you get 15 out of it, why not? Alright, over here we got a pair of Dexter shoes, really nice Oxford style. Excellent pair, good condition, very little wear on it. And paid $2 for this at a yard sale, should get about 40 to 50 on those. Now let's move over to the Panasonic pencil sharpener that I found. These pencil sharpeners go really, they, they do really well, the Boston ones. And, uh, you know, I didn't look this up or anything, but I figured, you know, it's a good brand. It looks nice. It's got the little sticky things on the bottom so it stays in place. For a dollar, it looks like these things are going for uh, between $20 and $30. So that's a really nice pickup. Next item I want to show you are some camera lenses. And uh, never really messed with these before, but these things looked really nice. Uh, this is a Vivitar Series 1. I believe this has to do with uh, Nikon, for the Nikon cameras, I believe. But uh, got two of those lenses, and uh, looks like they're going anywhere between $30 and $80. Paid 8 bucks for those, so we'll see what happens. And last but not least, I rolled the dice. And, uh, you know, these PlayStation games, PlayStation 1 games, were a quarter each. And I didn't look them up, I didn't know anything about them, but I figured for a quarter each, it's worth the risk. And uh, they looked kind of funky and cool. This is loaded, this isn't really worth anything, only going for like two to five bucks. But this is where I hit the jackpot. This is X-Men vs. Street Fighter, PlayStation 1 game. Paid a quarter, and this is going anywhere between 30 and $70. This is complete with the manual. Everything's in mint condition, so that's a freaking killer score. So those are the items I found. Some gloves, little uh, games, cameras, lenses, shoes, a bunch of different stuff. You know what? When you're in this business, you got to constantly be learning, going outside your comfort zone, trying new things, and figuring out what works. It's all learning experience. So hopefully you guys learned a few things, recognize a few items that you could go out and pick when you're at the yard sales, auctions, or thrift stores, and make some really good cash. Appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate all the support that I'm getting and all the great comments. Feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know how you did on your Saturday morning, if you hit any yard sales or went to thrift stores. And, uh, you know, feel free to ask me a question at Facebook at Rake and Profit and check out my blog at rakeandprofit.com. It's full of pretty cool money-making ideas that are going to help grow your business. So with that being said, take care.